in this video I'll show you how to create and animate a simple hand typing on a keyboard. Hi, my name is Manuel. We'll quickly set up the keyboard and create and animate the hand. I'm really sorry if I disappoint you, but we won't use any effects for that. Nevertheless, it's worth sticking around. Let's start with the keyboard. First, we'll create a new COM and make it wider than HD, 2800 by 1080 pixels. Let's name it keyboard plus hand. I add all my comps to a comps folder, by the way. We click into the timeline window, and then select the rectangle tool, double click on it to create a shape. Let's name it keys row one. We open the path property, deselect constraint proportions and set the size to 150 by 150 pixels. The roundness to 20 pixels. No fill. And let's color the stroke with a saturated orange. Stroke width, 2 pixels. Then we go to the Add menu here and add a repeater. Open the settings and set copies to 11. Open the repeater transform settings and set the position to X, 200 and Y, 0. Let's position it somewhere on the top left corner of the comp. Alright, we duplicate the layer, Command or Control D, move it below and about half a key to the right. Make sure the distances are equal. Duplicate it again, move it below and to the right again, so that these vertical lines align. Duplicate it one last time, move it down and half a key to the left this time. Go into the repeater settings and reduce copies to 10. So let's add the backspace key. We duplicate row 1 and name it backspace. Delete the repeater and move it here to the end of the row. We set the size to 225 by 150 pixels. Alright. Below that, the Enter key. We duplicate row 2, name it Enter. Same game, delete the repeater and move it to the right. Hold Shift to move in a straight line. Let me zoom in here. We choose the pen tool to create that unique enter key form. But before, we right click on the rectangle path and convert it into a BC path. Now add two points to the bottom edge, right next to each other. Then select the right three points and move them down. Command Ctrl R shows the rulers. And we pull two guide layers into the screen to make sure everything is aligned. Then we add round corners and set the radius to 20. Finally, we add the shift key. Hide the rulers again and the guides as well. We don't need them anymore. We duplicate row 4, name it shift, delete the repeater, move it right and set the size to 400 by 150 pixels. Awesome. That's our keyboard. Let's add a hand. To get the shape right, we grab our phone and take a quick picture of our hand from above. Import it to After Effects and add it to our comp. <laughs> Quickly scale it down and position it. All right. Then we add a new solid, Command or Control Y, color white and name it Hand. We reduce the opacity to around 50%, grab the pen tool and redraw the shape. Add points where the joints of the fingers are. Opacity to 100 again and let's fine tune the shape. We use the convert vertex tool to get the shape right. Let's try and make that crooked up finger pretty. <laughs> We delete the picture again and add a bit of an arm. Some more adjustments. Awesome. I think that looks about right. Next step, a rough animation. So we select the mask path and move it down below the left corner. Set a keyframe for the mask path. Then, go to 10 frames and move it up to the first key we want to touch. I'll actually adjust the arm shape a little. It doesn't really matter, but it looks weird somehow. We have to keep in mind that there's an arm and an elbow attached. So when we move to the right, to 25 frames, we need to rotate the hand shape slightly to the right. All right. Then we go to 40 frames, select the path and move it to our next key. 
rotating the hand even more. Then we go to 50 frames and move it to the key just to the right below. Then we go to 65 frames and end up on the Enter key, adjusting the rotation. At 70 frames we move the hand out of the screen again. Awesome! <laughs> now that looks very stiff and unnatural. So we add some movement to the thumb and finger. Let's bend the thumb and the finger here at the beginning. We select the points of the thumb, we press Command or Ctrl T to rotate and move them. Same with the finger, we bend it. From the top it should look like that. First key, back to original state. Let's stretch the finger a little bit though. The next stop, we move the thumb a little bit. The key is closer to the hand, so we bend the finger again. The next key, further away. So the finger needs to stretch and maybe rotate slightly to the left. Alright, next key. Again, we move the two fingers a little bit. And one last time, we stretch the finger a bit more. Okay, at least not worse than before. Now. We select all keyframes, open the graph editor, make sure the snap icon is activated and edit speed graph is selected. And create organic moves. We drag these points one after the other down to the zero line and form these kinds of curves. The moves start slow, speed up and end slow again. Let's check it. We're well, getting there, but still too linear. Let's adjust the curves a bit more. Much better. Let's add some filled keys, shall we? We duplicate key row 1, name it key filled, and add a fill. Delete the repeater in the contents property. Actually, let's choose a gradient fill. First color a bright yellow, second color a bright red. Then we use these two blue points to adjust the gradient. Then position it and move the start point to 10 frames. At 25 frames we duplicate it, move the start point and position it and so on. Finally, we duplicate the Enter key, move the starting point, add a gradient fill and adjust the gradient. Here we go, not too bad. One last thing. We create a new comp, size this time 1920 by 1080 and name it Master. Then we add our keyboard and hand comp. Position it so we see the left part of the keyboard where the hand will appear. Then go to 10 frames, press P and add a position keyframe. We move to 65 frames when the hand touches the last key and move it to the right. So the enter key is in the center. Then we select both keyframes and open the speed graph again and smooth the animation a little. Awesome! Like a camera pan. Pressing the Enter key could trigger some kind of animation or transition of course. So let's go back into the keyboard comp and add a simple round shape. 
where the fingertip is. Name it trigger. I think white is nice. We move it below the hand layer and simply scale up the size of the path. Let's get rid of the stroke and quickly adjust the speed curve. I hope you had enough patience to hang out all the way. On the left side I've added some videos you might like, so see you there in a second. Subscribe to my channel on the right side and ring the bell to get notified when my next video is coming out. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!